working out is more than just your physical. It's a mental therapeutic thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Once it aligns you up mentally, you'll be more focused musically. Yeah, we roll. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, what's going on, people? I got my fellas here with me. I got my fellas here with me. We got Kenny, K Bass, uh, Diggs. We got Frank Bruno. We got Justin, Rafiki Reigns. We got Alan Snoop Evans. We here, man. I just told these cats, man. I just told these cats that this uh, it's past my bedtime. It's ten o'clock at night, right now. So I gotta have some help. I gotta have some help. I don't got no coffee right now, so I got a little caffeine. But fellas, what's up with y'all, man? What's going on? How y'all feeling? Oh, chilling, chilling, man. Good. That's good. what's up. That's I was a late one, so y'all. I was a late one, y'all. Forget <laughs> it. He's late. He's late. Coming from rehearsal, right? Yes, sir. That's a life of It was my up. idea to have it at ten. I was late. My bad. Man, so. we're trying to accommodate accommodate for Snoop, and uh, but no, nah, it's all man. good. That's a life of a bass player, man. So Snoop, Kenny, K Bass, y'all the new cats coming in, man. We had a couple before, a couple sessions. We talked about some good stuff, man. We had some good conversation. Um, last week we talked about, uh, what it takes to be an MD as a basis. So, you know, I want to get a little bit more input from y'all guys. I mean, not even just that, but just generally, man, what's going on with y'all life? Kenny, what's up? What's, what's good with you? What's up? We got, you got, got the swole shirt on. We know what's good with you. So what's up, man? You know, God is good, man. Just, um, you know, just decided to take myself more serious than music. You yeah. know, sometimes you can just hide behind music. Mm. For so long that um, you lose yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. Goal is goal is to live long, man. So that's where that's where I've been. You know, transitioning my my mental state. You know, when you look good, you play good. I hear that. I hear that. Look good, feel good, play good. I hear you. Yeah, sure. That's what's up. Yeah. Hey, that's good, man. I'm proud of you, brother, man. It's, it's definitely yeah. it's crazy, yes, sir. crazy yes, to sir. see transformation. I'm looking like, I'm like, I just seen this dude. Like, what the heck? <laughs> you know what I mean? But no, nah, it's, it's it's that's what's up, man. I'm I'm all about that. I try to get it in whenever I can, man. Because that that life, like even desk life, even you know, being a touring right. musician, playing musician, man. We you already know man. how to roll. You already know how to roll this. Yeah, man. You know Snoop yeah, Buffalo man. Wild Wings. We just talked about that. brother. I'm praying <laughs> for yes, me, y'all. <laughs> Pray for me, God. Pray for you. <laughs> nah, that's what's Pray up, man. Me. That's what's up, man. So, Snoop, what's up with you, man? What's good? What's going on? Uh, man, I'm good. I'm I'm pretty much doing the same thing, man. Yeah. I'm uh turned uh, 42 and I'm getting older and and yes, why you <laughs> just looked up like <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, man. Getting, getting up there, man. Getting getting older and like that's the thing. Uh, you know, health, health, and everything. That that, if I wanna, my goal is to stay. I wanna, I wanna stay alive. I wanna live, man. And you know, I can only, you know, it's up to God, but I can do my part. I can definitely do my part. So, yeah, um, yeah definitely, definitely making sure I'm, I'm healthy. Making sure I'm eating right, so that way I can, you know, stick around. You know, that's, that's but, what's um, up. Yeah, still, still playing. Still just coming from a rehearsal. Just. Mm -hmm. Still uh, going out of town, just trying to do better by myself. That's cool. That's yes, cool. Sir. I want I want to get everybody input, man. Since we since we stand right here, let's 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 go ahead and sit down. Let's sit down right here. So, what do y'all think about or how important is that? Like Frank, Justin, like have y'all as far as health goes with your playing, you know, as far as the relationship <laughs> with that being a bass player, health. How how does that go together for y'all? Man, it's well, all y'all know me, so health is extremely important to me. Yeah. yeah. Right? So you know, just from my own testimony, but um, even as as Kenny and Snoop, you know, I I got with a trainer maybe like two three years ago. You know, I posted some things online, nice. but that's it's it's definitely a lifestyle. And you know, when you work when you work on that, you're you're like the practical things. You know, you're strengthening your body. So when you're playing, you know, your your endurance is more, you got more or, yeah. or, or you have more endurance. You're playing things like, oh shoot, 
That was easy. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 you work yeah. like yeah. it's it's very minute things like that that come into place. Um, and then before being a musician, I mean, we're men. You know, we're we're fathers. You know, we're perspective yeah. fathers. You know what I'm saying I want to live long. Mm. You know what I'm saying I got. Cool. I got yeah. I want to be around for my kids, my grandkids, my and my great and my great grandkids. Yes, you know? sir. Facts. Yes, sir. Facts. So, uh, but it, but health plays in a huge important. Like this week, I'm going to go see a chiropractor because I've been playing professional bass for 20 years. You know what I mean? And I, yeah. even though I work out, you know, yeah. I'm my yeah. body, yeah. I got this thing right here. Oh yeah, talk about it, Doc. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 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 I, 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 my place, but 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 then I also have to factor in that I had surgery eight years ago too. Mm-hmm. So mm. before, before having surgery, um, my alignment was already like slightly off. You wow. know, just from my yeah. practice playing playing this beast for so long. <laughs> oh God, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, um, and, and and then I had my kidney transplant and then I had my surgery. So that also wow. all you know, certain things like in my posture. So I found myself recently having this kind of weird pain. And I was like, you know, I, I need to go get adjusted. You know what I'm saying? Massages are cool. Absolutely. Working out is cool, but also going to, going to go see a chiropractor, that's a part of your health. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, like Snoop said, he's he's 62, you know, I'm 37. So, you know, we getting up there. You know, <laughs> <He's> 62. <laughs> <laughs> 62. Doug, y'all, I know. Y'all, it, Doug. Just pray so for him. Gotta, Doug. Pray for him. We gotta make sure we take care of our bodies. You know, we not. Yes, we're not sir. I mean, yeah, that's, that's my, cool. That's Frank, man, you skinny, man. What, what's your What's your issue, man? You don't, <laughs> you don't got no issue. You don't got no issues, man. <laughs> man listen, honestly, yeah, bro. So, <laughs> um, like I went, I went through some interesting changes with my body, and I, yeah. I actually can feel when I'm not like. I'm not the best eater in the world, you know what I'm saying? I get, I, I get down, but the thing is, I also have to pass metabolism, and then it started slowing. Wow. But the way I was gaining the weight was a way that I wouldn't like that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so I just realized too, you know what I'm saying? When if if I'm not, you know, eating like appropriately in a sense, I just start to feel weird. And then even you know, being on stage, playing a gig where you're not sitting down at all, you got to stand up heavy bases, light bases, and et cetera. Like I started developing like some interesting pain. So like, just mm-hmm. like you said, yeah. oh yeah, I'm definitely one of those that definitely go to a chiropractor. Yeah. I have I have to do that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it just it just feels so much better. You yeah. know what I mean? Even if it's the water intake, you, you get more of that daily. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever, you just, you, you'll you be surprised. You know what I mean? Just how, hey, this right here? There you go. Yeah, I'm yeah, about yeah. to refill it again. There you, you know go. what I'm saying? But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, it's it's Get definitely important. In. Get your gallon in. Yeah, yeah that's, that's man, it's, it's so funny that y'all saying that because I actually went to, we're talking about chiropractor, I don't even know how I would like, uh, that seems like it's a super common thing. You start scrolling on Instagram or, you know, wherever you see these viral videos of these chiropractors, man, that's that stuff works. Like it's not yeah, a, yeah. it's not a gimmick, man. That that stuff. Like I had to schedule every single week just to go to a chiropractor, wow. get adjusted. My posture was jacked up playing bass for so long. I was playing seven straight. I mean, Kenny, I think you was playing the same bass that Conklin. I I played for years, man. I was trying to tour with that big old piece of two by six Ooh. wood, man, and uh, <laughs> and just standing up for hours on end, you know. So Kenny, talk to me more about this, man. What can we do? Um. Well, the thing to do is um, you have to learn how to follow the numbers and the percentage on the scale. Mm. Okay. There's a thing called your BMR, your BMI, your subcutaneous fat, and your vascular fat that you need to worry about. Those you don't never, that people don't normally talk about. That's where cancer, diabetes, everything that mm. formulates in from that group mm. so literally you know it it really plays a part on your playing your posture um like i said i was i was pre-diabetic wow mm. and you know some stuff it, it it'll shock you 
And yeah. a lot of people, they don't even remember that, you know, just last year, I was 293 pounds. Jeez. Mm. But the I, the the music hides all that. The fan base hides all that. Yeah. And you know what it is, is um, I just got tired of seeing the con midnight musicals for fallen musicians. Exactly. Like, like we're we're all we're all great, and everybody loves us, but there's no real sense of brotherhood in music if nobody is telling you, "Hey, man, you're losing yourself." Wow. Yeah. Nobody told. Me, nobody held me accountable. Wow. So, mm -hmm. once, you know, once I got the certain news, and you know, looking at my son come in my room with a six pack and I'm supposed to be the father. I'm supposed to be teaching him. Yeah. Right? Outliving me. Yeah. And you know, that's where it, it took a chance. And literally, um, like I said, within a year from 37 down 38, I lost 137 pounds. Just, Jeez, that's crazy, bro. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. You know, leaned out. Stopped at 165, now I'm 171, 9%, uh, wow. 144 point. Jeez, pounds. come on. I'm a whole machine now, but my plane, like at some point, I used to have to like do the, the fat boy lean where you have to put all your weight on one foot and you gotta lean a little bit while you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. That's it. That thing is so right, man. As far as the the pain that you develop, man. Like, like we're not supposed to be the. Even though we're carrying a base, do you know how strong your back is? Your yeah. back is like so strong. So if we're feeling pain from carrying a nine pound base, when your body has the capacity of containing an impact of two times your body weight. Wow. That means that fat. And that unhealthy stuff is overtaking muscles. It ain't the base that's wow. heavy. It's your body. Wow. Wow. And the most skinny people, I know skinny people who look physically skinny, but their subcutaneous and their viscular fat is so high that, have you ever seen a skinny person with asthma? How? <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because it's, it's that they don't see. Everybody's focused on the scale number. Come on. So much stuff that's internal that starts mm -hmm. from your Yep. Teach us, Doc. So, so once we get to that point, and I know we're we're make, we're musicians and we're bass players, but my my mental one thing I told uh myself was I can't expect everybody to be on the same wavelength as me. That's starting to start, I'm starting to get myself frustrated looking at musicians like, come on, y'all. Yeah. Like it's more to life than just gigging and making a name for yourself and everybody put you mm -hmm. in your top five i'm like don't y'all want to live longer so y'all can see the fruition of your works yeah 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 mm -hmm. so that's, that's that fellas that's that's why I'm at. we all know the playing is there now i'm focused on the spirit and the mental part which god gave us God gave us some commandments, but the main thing he gave us individually, take care of your temple. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you spitting a bunch of facts. Yeah. Spitting a bunch of facts right now. Um, I want to ask y'all this. As bass players, we all been playing, I'm sure, 20 plus years. At least mm -hmm. each of us, right? So that's probably maybe over 80 years, 100 years between all of us, right? So... Where do you think you are in your playing right now or in your journey? I know you mentioned Kenny right now. You're trying to work mentally and spiritually right now. Do you find yourself being able to or practicing as much as you used to? Or are you shifting your, you know, are you shifting your mindset? Or are you shifting your routine to practice or work on other things? I know that's 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 what it is for me. I try to work on other elements because I've been playing for so long. It gets redundant, right? Uh, it gets repetitive. So do you guys feel like you're working on different parts of you versus just practicing or just the actual physical instrument? Um, 
Anybody want to go first? Yeah, anybody, don't matter. Yeah, I'll take it real quick. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like you said, I it was I was I was a bass player, and that actually who happened to start on keys first. So one of my challenges was like, man, Jealous. how do I how do I <laughs> still upkeep this level of my keys playing and bass playing at the same time? Mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm, Just mm. when I really when I look at how I took a I, I put my keys playing in the back burner so I could study and play bass. I don't see myself doing that now these days, being honest. You know, when you look at how you how much we're gigging throughout the week. Um, right, right, right. Yeah. It's like you have to make a conscious decision to practice, like to legitimately put that time in. So now it just kind of shifted. I'm like, well, I still want to keep my keys playing. Now it's like, okay, I want to get into the softwares. So now I'm down mm. digging in, oh. eight to ten and trying to learn. So it's really just like you know, trying to evolve myself. You know what I'm saying? Just um, can you took a little shift real quick, and it's not just playing, but you got we got to take care of our bodies, Body our shit. health. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So we we have to put that invested time. We got to invest that time in that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, if it's a trade you want to learn, we have to do our schooling for how many months, set months, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I think now for me, it's it's like trying to do a little bit of uh, of everything. Balance. You know what I'm saying? Just balancing it all out. Yeah. yeah. At the same time, still trying to, okay, let me get more hit with my DAWs. Let me yeah, get yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I am a music director, so I have other things that's required of me outside of just playing bass. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just, exactly. You know, different yeah. things. So, before, yeah, anybody, yeah. before anybody else goes real quick, um, I found myself, I took off maybe a, about a year of my playing, later on in my playing, just to focus on EQ. I don't know if that's yeah. anybody else's story, but I never spent too much time on, I mean, I knew the basic stuff, right? But I really dialed right. in on every single frequency for a long time. I wasn't doing anything but that. Like I just, every time I sat down to practice, I always try to figure out just EQ stuff, like just kind of where does my bass sit? I think I have a course literally just called where does my bass sit in the mix? Just to be able to figure out, okay, if I'm if I'm trying to figure this frequency thing out, this EQ thing out, I should know where every single frequency of the bass is. So I took off a lot of my practicing. I sacrificed a lot of my playing um, mm -hmm. to focus on that for a long time. I, I I go extreme. I just took off that time and just ended up just doing that. That's just how I work for whatever reason. But do yeah. you guys or anybody else had that issue? Not even an issue, I wouldn't even say, but a period of time where you just focus on not even playing, like like specifically playing. I'm very Absolutely. interested to hear that. I, um, I too, are the same as you. When I first started playing MTD uh, years ago, I just I I just modeled um, rest in peace, uh, Tim ah. uh, Tim Williams. I just modeled him, and I modeled yeah. Andrew Goucher. Mm. I just model whatever, their, mm. whatever their sound, and that was my sound for you know for for a few years, and then um, and then I said, well, this is this is their sound. So, I I I was already studying you know music production. I remember the way that I figured out frequencies, and and this goes this goes way back to you know the great Marvin McQuitty. Um, I remember uh, before I started playing with Israel, I remember I, I was at a sound check and um, Martin McQuitty was on drums and he was calling out frequencies to the monitor engineer mm. to cut in his tongue. Mm. He was like, he was Crazy. like, yo, Drummer. Cut, yo cut like 400 in, in, in this 12 inch and then, and then mm -hmm. do a high cut on my floor tom. And I'm like, what is he talking about? <laughs> right, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I remember that that moment years later, and then when I started to kind of get into my own sound on the bass, because I was I, I was already you know fortunate enough to you know play records and stuff like that, right, and be the guy right. gospel records at that time. Um, I started to make all of my basses flat and, and see what is this, and and when you buy, I, I don't know about any other basses, but I know with MTD what he sends you. Your little, you know, your your diagram of your bass. Oh, what's what? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, the high end controls this frequency. The mid switch controls this frequency. Low controls this frequency. 
So with that, I was able to kind of like figure out what my sound was. And then when I got into mixing, um, that was a totally different thing because your your bass can sound great by itself, but when it's time to sit into the mix, you got to learn how, how to use mm. how to take out frequencies so that your bass can sit in the mix. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I became the anal guy that will use my wireless and go in front of house. You know, I, so, no, I hear you. I hear so, you, man. So the same way that you took off, I took off and and I started doing sound. When I moved to Atlanta, I was a sound engineer. I didn't play bass at a church. Wow. Wow. I was a sound engineer, like the wow. least sound engineer at a church here. Wow. Wow. Because even at my church in Boston, I was the musical director, but I was also a part of the sound the sound mm -hmm. team as well. Mm -hmm. Installs, um, all of that. You know what I mean? So, because yeah. because I'm like, I'm going out into the house and my bass sounds like tink, tink, tink. Mm. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> so, yeah way to learn the vocabulary so that I could, you know, talk to the sound guys like, hey, man. Yeah. And uh, when I started to go on, hey, can you cut like 450 in my wedge? <laughs> you know, that's kind of funny. Then they're like, oh, you know what you're talking about. And I'm like, yeah. So now they kind of lighten up yeah. and they give you a little bit of love in the house. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, but, but. but I don't want to keep talking about it, but outside of that, for me, um, same thing, production, um, mm. running sessions in Pro Tools, Ableton, Logic. I'm the musical director. Oh, we talked about that yep. at the last right. session. I'm the musical director mm -hmm. at the uh, church that I'm at in Birmingham. And actually tonight, I got to make stems. I got to make stems tonight for them to practice to in Birmingham, I got to outsource BGVs. I got to make sure that, that they're good. I got to mix everything down and send it off. Yeah. And sometimes I got to, I, I had to recreate um, a Kiera's free song from scratch because if it if it plays on YouTube or Facebook, uh, they'll snap yep, it down. Co yep, copyright. Because it was for, dancers had to dance to it. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't play the actual song because they didn't have the licensing for it. Interesting. You know? Yeah. So, so I had to recreate the entire song from scratch myself. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So, Dawes, for me, we already we already covered it. Health, working out, it's a that's that's therapy. It's a it's a lifestyle for me. Um. Um. And then I, I'm a handyman. Like I like building stuff. So that's yeah. just yeah. Yeah, taking some time off to do that. And focus yeah. on that snoop what about you man how you balance balance all that man and uh, um definitely with with uh you know getting older <laughs> i i've um i've been playing for so long and i'm i'm kind of starting to get in my own head because i'm, I'm hearing i'm always playing i'm always learning songs and it's a difference between playing, practicing, and learning songs. Like I mean, mm. you, I try to, I try to shed while I'm learning songs, but with 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 everything going on, with it, it's it's really not enough time in a day. It's it's really not, man. Like I'm I'm really finding that out. I'm really finding that out. Like, I mean, I I found it out years ago, but it's like now nah, the older I get, it's like it's not enough time in a day. And would you count that? Just to try to find. Would you? Would you count? I'm sorry for cutting you off, but would you count that as your practice, yeah. learning songs? It's it it's it's a form of practice, but like I try to I try to. There are things that I want to practice. There's certain there's certain things, uh, certain music, certain like fusion and it's just certain things I want to tap into, but I, I don't really have the time. So I have to, while I'm learning music, I'll try to just really just try to practice then, you know, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, uh, if I'm doing a track, you know, if I'm, uh, if I got to cut a song and I try to use that time to be as creative as I can. To, I mean, just to kind of sort of practice then, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's, of course, you know, being musical and everything and, but like I use that time to do a lot of to come up with a lot of nuances. It, you know, that's that's my thing. Like when I whenever I'm playing, whenever I'm playing a song, like in church, I'm trying to 
I'm like, what's what's a different way I can approach this mm. without it being too mm. much, without it mm. being without me overplaying, without me underplaying, you know, just mm. what what can I what can I do? I want to do something different, you know, and it'd be natural. Then it, now I'm starting to get to the point where I'm overthinking, and then, then now I'm starting to mess up. And it's like, ah. So it's, it's almost like I'm kind of back. I'm kind of back where I started, you know, uh, you know, when I was first learning to play, you know, you're trying to find your, trying to find your niche and you're trying to find your sound. It's like, I'm back there now. I'm, 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 I, it came full circle and it's like, that's what's amazing about music because it's, it, it can never, it'll never get boring because once you play, once you get your sound, it's like, okay, this is my sound. And it's like, oh my God, this is my sound. Like I want a different sound. Like I want to, I want to do something different. I want to, I want people to like, when they hear me, it's like, who is that? And it's like, oh my God, that's him. Like I didn't, you, you know. You ain't never lied, man. You ain't never Yeah, lied. and it's, it's like, that's where I'm at now. I'm, you know, along with, you know, just making time to work out and, you know, and everything and, yeah. and travel, family life. And man, it's... Yeah, it's let's something. let's stick right there, man. It's it's funny you said that. I'm I'm thinking I'm sitting there writing down t- topics, man. It's it's my mind is kind of on overload because I want to yeah. go in two different directions because you talked about how can you embellish right the song that you're yeah, learning yeah. to where yeah. you can make it you. And I want to talk about the difference. We don't have to talk about that now, but a lot of the stigma or a lot of the. Uh, you know, old heads say a lot of the times you need to play the song just like the record, but you yeah. just said you got to find different ways to embellish without crossing that line. Like that's a whole nother yeah. topic. But anyway, we'll we'll yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll 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 do that <laughs> another time. But anyway, yeah. you already know where I'm going with this. So, um, yeah. but everybody, well, Kenny, you got whole huge family. Justin got a huge family, right? Uh, Snoop, y'all got a you got a family. Frank, you got kids? Yeah. You don't have? Nope. You just got a small yeah. family. Small family, no, nope. okay. nope. <laughs> but but I mean, even even so, we all got busy lives. All of us got busy lives, regardless of what it is. Even with with, I commend all of y'all. And I'm, I just I literally tip my hats off to y'all to be able to say like, okay, how do they do it with everything they got going on, family, all of that good stuff, and balancing it. When do y'all work out? When do you work out? When the hell do you work out? I, I'm, I just, I just want to know. Like, when do you do it? Five in the morning. Five a.m. Five a.m. Five a.m. Doc. Yeah. That's just when. Yeah. yeah. My kids get up. Yeah. Jeez. So I, I got three. Kenny got seven. <laughs> you know, I got three. <laughs> hey, Kenny, you still going? You still going? <laughs> All this, you all got this a, got an announcement. You need <laughs> all this, all this working out, man. That count go up, Doc. So <laughs> that that that, 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 that libido on rise, man. That count go up, Doc. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> my kids, I wake my kids up like around six o'clock, six thirty. Uh-huh. So I try to get it in around like five. You know what I mean? That's and cool. I, it, it, now it didn't happen overnight. Put trust. Mm-hmm. I, it, it took, it took me almost, literally almost a year to get to the point where I was like, I wake up automatically. All right, let me go ahead and get up. But I'm ready to go. So yeah. you don't feel like doing it. So like, I like roll myself out the bed and hit the floor. <laughs> like, yeah, all right, I'm up. I'm up. Let's go. Let's get it yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. They got to rub your knees first, man. Before you... Right. <laughs> but it's, it's, but I'm not going to lie. It's not always consistent. It's not always I, I get up at five and, I, and I'm on the machine. If I don't, if I miss it, then I'll, then I'll try to find it sometime throughout the day because yeah, nice. I work for myself. You know, like most of us, you know, we work for ourselves. So yeah. we kind of set our own time, right. you know, to get things done. Yeah. So, Dude, yeah. I love it because people really think because you're a musician, like you literally sitting around the house doing like, no, it's no, if I want to be a successful musician, I got to get up. I got to stay, I got to stay up late, get up early. Like people really think like, what you be doing? Like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> like I, I, like I, I get up sometime at like five, sometime I go to sleep at like four, you know, like got to get the kids up to school. Like, if if you want to be successful, if you want to if you want to be 
you know, if you want to, if you don't want to grow, if you don't want to do that, then I, 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 don't I, don't worry about it. But it's like I I can't afford that. I'm gonna need you can't to say. I'm gonna need you to say that again, Doc, because you preaching <laughs> no. for real. If, ser- no, seriously, <laughs> seriously, man. If you want to put that time in, you want to grow, you want to work. You know, yeah, people too. people think the same about like Justin said. People think the same about musicians or even about me. As far as you know, when you say you you're able to make your own schedule, people just think, oh, you got free time. Nah, yeah, man, so no. much further from the truth, man. Like so much further from the truth because I I try to make time and I try to get up maybe around five five ish too yeah. it's like why are you getting up that early i mean i gotta set my schedule i gotta do things just like everybody else and create that just so i'm not stuck into because if you don't have no structure if you don't have order you're just going to be you you can't be successful so i'm not just saying everybody got to wake up at that time yeah. but but yeah that's that's I, I, man you spoke volumes right there like if you want it if you and want it you're gonna find time to get it period and it's not instead of it's not instead of it's in addition to mm, like i mean absolutely. it's all the stuff i gotta do 100 do this 100%. and that and yeah 100 100 man yeah I, I find myself trying to do the five o'clock thing justin you said something really great um you said it's not always consistent and i just want to switch that or relate that to practicing and bass playing and that kind of thing because we don't practice every day Right. It, 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 you might not be able to practice every day, but as long as it's consistent throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout whenever, you're still getting that time in. Even you said throughout the day, you try to find time. All of this stuff relates to each other. Life, yeah. playing bass, music, language, all of that good stuff. Kenny, what time you get up? Three? Yeah. <laughs> not man, contrary to everything. I'm up, regardless of what time zone I'm in, I'm up 5.15. I'm in the gym 5:30, um, regardless of what time zone I'm in. Um, I've I've conditioned myself to the point where uh, excuses build monuments of nothing. Mm. Mm. Excuses are a part in a token of a man. Yeah, I'm not going to keep I'm not going to keep making excuses because yeah. I'm t- or I need to rest. The thing about it is, is I am consistent in that time frame. Uh, my kids get up around 6.30, uh, but I'm up at 5.15 in the gym. If you follow my Instagram, I'm constantly posting the video, like my time clock, like, yeah. okay, I've yeah. been in here, blah, blah. Um, the thing about it is, um, is one thing musicians have to really, really focus on is all time management. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. And, us say that there's not 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 what Snoop said, but a lot of people say that there's a lot of time in the day when actually, if you prioritize certain things and put them in their perspective, sometimes as musicians, I can say us, I can say me, for example. What I used to do, I used to be like, yeah, I have time management, blah blah blah. And when I really think about it, I can easily sit on the base for three four hours. <laughs> or why you too? When literally I only, really need, I only I only really need an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Time flies. A lot, of make, a lot of stuff we make excuses. We find ourselves being repetitive. So the thing with my time management is what I do is, even though I'm in the gym every day, five in the morning, um, I also am an anomaly. I also get eight hours of sleep at night. Yeah. Oh wow. People are doing that. Oh, because at the end of the day, you're no good to nobody if you're no good to yourself. I tell, hundred percent. I don't care what I'm doing. I'm going to go to sleep. Get my eight hours in. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Like, like, seriously, like when we out, if I'm out on the road, the band after the show, hey man, we going. I'm going to my room. I'm going to sleep because (laughs) when I wake up at eight o'clock to go to the airport, I've already five o'clock. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, no, I hear you. I've conditioned myself to the point where if I really want to be a healthy lifestyle, a lot of people say, like, I I hate the mentality personally of the word called hustle. Mm-hmm. I hate mm-hmm. it. At the end of the day, why are you rushing yourself to an early grave? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you really understood the importance of rest with your body, yeah, it's not, it's not even so much after you work out that your muscles have to recoup and your body has to recoup mentally after a gig mentally after dealing with kids mm. mentally after dealing with 
Yeah. Brother. <laughs> right. said preach. No, mentally, <laughs> you feel know with man, why in the world is this box, is this bag of chicken now $12? Yeah. You thinking about gas, like, like I, I told my wife that the a woman would never know what a man deals with 24 hours out of the day. Mm. Yeah. So the only time that you have that's the most important to you is not your musicianship, is not how you play, it's your mental. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You have to take care of your mental, guys. Yeah. You got to turn your body back at the same time. The only way you're going to get mental is included with peace, which is including in rest. Yeah. You have to rest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You true. have, you have, like, I'm sorry. That's just where I am. So literally, I'm up at 5.15. Uh, actually, I do two a days. I'm 5.15, and then I'm 10, 10.30 before I go to bed. Mm. Wow. But in the middle of the day, I'm still taking If I'm waiting in the car line at the kids' school, I'm taking a nap. <laughs> this man's just sleeping everywhere. I heard that. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm 30 years. Y'all laugh at me all you want. And when piggyback hey. off what you said about uh, the practicing, uh, as far as shifting, if you notice my algorithm, I haven't even really been posting a lot of music videos and shits. Mm. Yeah. That doesn't mean I'm not shedding. Absolutely. But mm -hmm. the, the, the focal point of everything is I get on base when I need to do something. I'm not just wasting time. Yeah. Yeah. If I, I want to learn a new technique, I'm going to get on and learn a new technique. If I need to learn a song, I'm going to learn a song. Musicians, what we'll do, we get a song for church, but when bloom, the video, the next YouTube come up and we start shedding. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, literally, like, I'm just like, okay, guy. You got to keep me conditioned, and especially when you got teenagers. Yeah, then I'm like, Jesus Christ, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> but by others on here that have girls, <laughs> when they yeah. get, to, and they need, 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 want, want, want. You have to be mentally ready for. Them. Oh God! Yeah, man. You gotta get your mind right, man. Oh, just they growing up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, I know. And I got, I got, I got both my boys with me, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. But, yeah, but like I said, if I can encourage anybody, man, time management, time management. Um, I'm not saying like, of course, we love to practice, we love to share, but if you know you have other responsibilities, prioritize them. First of all, you got to be good for you before you be good to anybody else. So that's why I wake up so early. Before I touch music, I'll pray and I'll get in the gym first. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then yeah. I'll, whatever I have to do musically, I'll do yeah. that. Get off of it. I have clients now. So I'm constantly working out with clients. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm be working out like constantly. Yeah. You have to have that time management, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pick, real quick. I'm gonna piggyback off of that. Um, Go ahead. As far as the time management, man, it's 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 a discipline. It's a it's a discipline that you have to create. You know, we have all, all of this technology around us. We're on iPads, computers, phones that have calendars. Use Absolutely. them. Absolutely. You know, and yeah. like use like take the time out of your day to to um schedule your day. Absolutely. Like, be, be as anal as possible. Hundred percent. Work out for forty five minutes. Set a timer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I know as creatives, whenever we get into something that we like or something that inspires us, we can stay there. Like you said, we can stay on the base for three hours. We can stay learning a new trade for three hours. Like yeah. something about creatives. That's why we can't do nine to fives for very long. And and if we do, <laughs> don't last that long. I've had three jobs, nine to five, and all of them I've worked three months. <laughs> you know, like it's Man. it's it's you creative. We get into something like that. We learn fast. Oh. 
Absolutely. We, we dive in. But one thing, um, and I'm gonna throw this name out there, it's a guy named Graham Cochran. He's he he's the founder of the recording revolution on YouTube. Amazing, amazing gift. He his his, his, his whole thing is just teaching you everything. That's how I learned my frequencies from mm -hmm. the recording revolution on wow. on you just free content that he just kind of gives away but he has Amazing. his own channel called the called the the, the graham cochran channel and he talks about time management mm. and one and one thing that he does um because he's he, he's a content creator he, he has three businesses that are all about content you know what i'm saying yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and a family man mondays are email days Tuesdays and Wednesdays are uh, content, filming, interviews. Thursdays mm. are session days. Fridays, I do no work. I'm with my family. Mm. I take three day weekends: Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know what wow. I mean? That's but, but that was that was something that that works for his family. Absolutely. So, but what I took from that is okay. What works for, for me you and my, and my family as far as absolutely. Yep. You know what I mean? And you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. Like, if I sit in front, I know me. I I love watching comedian YouTube. I love watching <laughs> comedian. I love watching um, new things in Dawes. Anything that I'm working on, something that I, that I can learn new. I know me, and I can get lost. In it. Yeah. So yeah. I'll yeah, yeah. put on a timer. I'm gonna like, set a timer for thirty minutes. That's good. And when that, and when that bell goes off, disciplined enough. Got to be done. No, to absolutely. Move on to my schedule. You know what I'm saying? So that's dope. Everything that Kenny is saying is is absolutely right. There is time in the day. You just have to prioritize. Be disciplined enough to schedule. Schedule your stuff. Schedule it out. And you'll see, man. I tell my students all the time. If I look at this room. And I say, it's going to take me about two weeks to clean this room. Or or I'm going to give myself two weeks to clean this room. In two weeks, I'm going to take time and the room is going to be clean. If I come in here and say, I'm going to give myself two hours to clean this room. This room is going to be clean in two hours. It starts here. Just like Kenny said, everything that we want to do and accomplish and change starts here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Discipline yourself to 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 make the schedule you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. discipline yourself to to withhold you know what i'm saying discipline yourself mm -hmm. to know how to stop you yes. know what i mean discipline yourself to know how to rest that so yeah. that's so real on, on so many different ways because people will go to sleep you're not thinking you sleep all the time you know what i'm saying that's true so this it's, it's this this thing can you know what i mean oh i'm, oh, I'm, I'm going to sleep but you're not resting. You're not resting. <laughs> Come on, so, preach. You know what I mean? So, so discipline yourself to set a schedule, especially my entrepreneurs, my musicians that don't have a nine to five, especially you all, because you have so much time, you have to be even more disciplined. Even more, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because the hope yeah, is, right. yeah. there is a boss, Kenny is his own boss and branching on a new business he's his own boss so that he has to you know mm -hmm. there's there's music there's fitness there's dad there's husband there's yeah. kenny you know what i'm saying there's all this other stuff and then there's who are you and then you know the middle I mean? let me let me pick it back on that in the midst of it it's still me i can't lose myself Exactly. In the midst of right. all of that, right, absolutely, right, right. So I'm saying, Frank, you already know, Frank. Mentally, yeah, if you, you can lose yourself, and you yeah. be sitting here like, "Yo, how in the world did I get here?" And to all the young bass players who are going, who's going to listen to this podcast, let me just say this: y'all constantly hit my DMs and probably my my uh, my co anchors about like, "How do you do this? How do you play this? How do I get to this next level?" I will say this. I'm going to use this as an example. Working out is more than just your physical. Mm -hmm. It's a mental therapeutic thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Once it aligns you up mentally, 
you'll be more focused musically. It's weird. I can't really put it into words. But when you align yourself with goals and you're mentally structured, it will translate over everything. Even in your plan, even in your plan, like you're focused mm -hmm. in the gym. So in your when you're on base, if you want to keep getting the calls, young guys, you're so focused on playing your part and not playing for YouTube and the Wu yeah. mm. There's a difference in studying others, but it's better to study the sound that God gave you. And the okay. only way you're gonna have your own sound is if you're focused on you. You, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. And that's all I got to say to the young right. guys. If you if you really want to get your own swag out here, you must be mentally focused on you. Yeah. Because we live in the generation of comparison. Mm -hmm. I, I hate comparison. Mm -hmm. Nobody is better. You can take something from everybody. We're living in the age of. Well, that person did this solo better than that person, or this bass player plays better than that bass player. When in all actuality, if you can't say that you are on the same level as that bass player who has his own identity, you're still reaching to get that identity while not having your identity. <laughs> the focus of your mental needs to change. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Music is a blank canvas. Everybody can paint a picture, but not all artists are in a museum. Yeah. Yep. You better haiku. Haiku. Oh, right. <laughs> that, 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 might, that might go over somebody's head. Yeah. Everybody can contribute to the painting, but not all paintings are going to end up in the museum. Yeah. Oh, you got some, right. Yeah, you have to spend some time on you. You know, at the end of the day, mm. you know, like you said, a lot of people try to acquire to, to, to be their own person, but they're constantly comparing themselves to someone else. And it's yeah. like, like we, would, like we just talked about, I stepped back sacrificed a little bit of my time to try to focus on me, to try to understand my sound, whether it be your tone, your EQ, your whatever technique, but that in that acquired me to, to figure out my own sound. I, I yeah. figured out what frequencies I liked, you know, and then at that same time, I took some time off to work on me, my body physically. Um, Cause I was over 300 plus too. Like I, I had to, I had to just take off. It was a time where I just took off social media. Like I just, I couldn't focus. My focus was everywhere mm -hmm. and I had no time. I wasn't taking care of myself. I was just grind, 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 grind. It's like no more. I can't, I can't even do it. It's so funny. Cause I'm sitting back just listening and laughing because this is all of the stuff that I had to figure out and to do. Yeah. I had to set schedule. I got alarm going, <laughs> alarms going off right now on my phone. <laughs> I have to set schedules throughout the day. When I wake up in yeah. the morning, I do my my meditation, my prayer, all of that good stuff. Wake up, write down what I'm doing for the day. Mm. I have a, I have a notebook right beside my bed. And that's a millionaire. Mike. I I you have to because there's so there's so much I have to do. There's so much I have to take care of. I have to have some type of structure. You know, like the it's so funny, Justin. You said like the thirty minutes thing. I'm always putting on timers like, okay, I'm doing this within this time, I'm done. All right, I'm gonna work on this for this amount of time and I'm done, I'm shutting it off, I'm, I'm down. Mm -hmm. at, the beginning, at the beginning of this podcast, what I say to y'all, this is past my bedtime right now, right. Right. past my bedtime. <laughs> but you know, I, I really I, I really think this is gonna provide a lot of value. I'm sitting here, I'm just, I'm basking in all of the value that I'm, you know, that I know somebody is gonna get and this is just, it, it's it's so dope to me that we can, we can sit and have this conversation and have similar mindsets but different stories. Yeah, Every every yeah. ev everybody has their style. Everybody has what they what they do what works for them like like you guys said earlier. You got to figure out what works for you. What which what's 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 in your schedule? What can you do? Is five o'clock too early for you to get up? All right, let's try six fifteen. Let's try that first. And then if you, if it works for you, you know, maybe go a little bit early. Whatever the case may be, figure out what works for you. If you want to do it at night, if you night owl want to work out at night or do whatever or you're practicing all of that is good and to your point kenny you talked about uh you know the the you, you mentioned the time management if you want to just sit there and listen and practice to youtube videos all day by all means go ahead but if you're trying to work on something or better yourself or figure out why you can't get past this next level mm -hmm. you got to do some thinking 
You got to do some rearranging. You have to say, you got to have some stability. You got to have some stability, some structure at the same time. You have to say, I'm going to do this, stop, and then go to the next thing. And then on top of that, get your rest, (laughs) which is one of the most important things too. Like, like I said, I'm trying to, you know, make sure my mind is straight because throughout the day, I'm no good. I'm no good if I'm not getting my rest. (laughs) Justin says something so pivotal. You can sleep, but you can't rest. Can't rest. There's a total difference. Can't rest. When your mind when your mind is going. Absolutely. You know, it's 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 crazy how the body operates. It's 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 very crazy. And you know, I don't know who's gonna be listening to this podcast and what religion uh that you're studying or believe in, but an unstable man is what? Yeah. Double minded. Double minded. Double minded is what? Yeah. Unstable in all his ways. Yeah. So my thing is that's how important you need to have stability in your mind. As yeah. men, you set goals and you conquer them. Yeah. You don't make excuses. Justin said 30 minutes, I'm gonna focus on that. Do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because one thing you're gonna find out in life is the flesh always wants to combat what the mental does. Mm. The flesh wants to tell Justin, oh, you love tech. Just keep watching it. Just keep yep. watching it. Absolutely. But the mental part is saying, uh, bro, you got stuff you got to do. Yeah, that's right. discipline. Yeah. That's, that's the discipline side of it. You Absolutely. have you have to set that aside. Time. Like, that's the whole point of making the timers. That's the whole point yeah. of having structure is to follow it. So once you make that, okay, that boom, right. boom. I, and then even, even throughout the day, I'll check off, all right, what I did. All right? And that, that helps me be conscious of... of how I'm viewing my day, even if I don't finish it all, I have a nice little outline of what I needed to do. Oh, okay. That's fine. I didn't, it's another day. Get your rest. Boom. Don't try to stuff it all in one night. Right. So that's so important, man. You got to get your rest. You have to get your sleep and your rest (laughs) at the same time. You know, uh, this, this, this is a, I I had no idea we were even going this route, but this is awesome. (laughs) This is amazing to me. Um, hopefully somebody's going to get some value out of this. Uh, if y'all have anything, anything to add, Frank, you want to add something, man? I hadn't heard from you for a minute. Yeah. You, you taking it all in? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, just one, one, uh, phrase that I feel like could cover a lot of what we discussed too. And I actually posted about it uh, last week or whatever it was. And it's a mental, from a mental standpoint, champions do all the time. What average players do sometimes. Mm, I like now, that. basically, I like that. with that, it's, it's a mental, it's a mental approach. So, think about it like this: Do you want to average? Is cool. Nothing wrong with average. Mm-hmm. Teach their, but is that cool. where you want to stay, <laughs> or is, or do you want to be champions and yeah. and win the, and win yeah. shit? And most you know people what I'm do. Like where that's, where that's do you it. fall on that on that spectrum? Yeah. So it's like meant like K base. You know, it's mental. It's like yo. uh this is what it is. If I could, if I'm, if I'm winning here mentally, then we can we can control the tempo of, mm-hmm. of our situation for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Aside from our yeah, source, or yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, that's, that's so good. that's that's how I look at it. Champions do all the time. Whatever players do, sometimes if you know discipline is something that you need to work on or what have you. You know what I'm saying? If it's time management, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's go that extra mile to make it happen. Do that if it's get a physical uh, agenda calendar or if it's the phone and all of that. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, man. That's good, man. I like that. I like that. Got to, got to be disciplined, man. That once you get that, uh, every, almost everything else will fall into place. Once you conquer that discipline in your mind and your head, get that structure and being able to control your own body, your own self and your own thoughts and actions telling you your practice time oh i don't have enough time to practice i put something up not too long ago well it's a while ago i think i was that's when i was using twitter uh i put something up and saying (laughs) when you tell me you don't have enough time to practice and you're watching netflix for like five hours please Mm -hmm. please 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 don't please don't come to me and say anything you're not allowed (laughs) you're not you don't qualify to ask me a, a a excuse me a thing <laughs> that's Holy right ghost. Holy ghost. Uh, but no i'm serious like that that's that's kind of my pet peeve and you know you spend all of this time doing unnecessary stuff oh, yeah. That's, yeah yeah oh my Un- god you just you just brought something back to my mirror i'm sorry to cut you unnecessary. off now nah, go ahead my, man. Band, my band teacher used to tell us that and i am laughing inside <laughs> in his words he said if you got time to piss you got time to practice 
Hey. Facts. Facts. That's right. He's like, no. and basically what he was saying was, basically what he was saying was, you make time for what you want. If you know you got to use the bathroom, you can be driving a car. What you going to do? You going to pull over to the next exit? Absolutely. Pull over the Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm so telling you, man. Side of the road. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Listen, but, I mean, it's the funniest thing, but he used to tell us that, like, stop making excuses. Oh, you had homework last night. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, if you got time to piss, you got time to pick up that trumpet. You got time to pick up that trombone. Excuses, man. Yeah. Excuses. Yeah. Excuse yeah. after excuse, man. No, I, and and the, the thing about it is I, I'm not a magic potion or anything to make you better. You have to make the time. Yes. I, I complained yes. before. I, I kept. I was talking to my wife some years back. I just kept complaining. I was like, I don't have enough time, oh, man. This is not enough hours in a day, man. I can't do this. I can't get this done. I, I can't get this lesson out, blah, blah, blah. And I just looked at myself. I said, you get up at 9 o'clock. Mm. I the, said, days, the morning's the, almost done. The morning's almost done. So I said, <laughs> okay. I said, okay. What if I wake up at five? I'll have four extra hours to do what mm. I said I can't do. Yeah. So mm. I'm, I'm yeah. getting. I'm getting my workout in, my practicing in, my editing in, my meetings with my team. It, like all of that is done before nine o'clock. Wow. So I'm See, like, now, I wasn't gonna say nothing. Man, it's preach. Go ahead. So there's this thing that I learned a while ago from um, from from Chris Baker, and um, it's called cir your circadian rhythm. Mm. Mm. So your circadian rhythm is mm. I know where you're going. Day where you are the most effective, productive, and effective. Absolutely, most productive, effective. Um, it has a lot to do with with your sleep. So it's like if you have that time of day where it's like I can just get stuff done. That, that's typically like your window. You know, Absolutely. everybody. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. For and and for for Chris at the time, Chris like he gets a four thirty morning. He handles all of you know working out, team meetings, plans. His kids get up at seven thirty. He's up at four for three hours. Already done. He's taking care. So by like ten o'clock in the morning, his day is his. His day is his. And I just, I just pulled up here. You know, what happens if your circadian rhythm is out of whack? It says changes in your sleep cycle may lead to cognitive and behavioral, <laughs> like diminished focus, Boom. vigilance, attention, motor skills, and memory. Mm. These symptoms can subsequently result in workplace errors, reduced efficiency, or even you know what I mean? Man. So this all goes around uh, rest. All ties in together, man. It all ties you know in. It all ties in, man. That's you know how important crazy. rest is. That's my cat you know cat is <laughs> you know how crazy. you know how important rest is? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. On the seventh day, even he had to rest. Come on. Mm. Right. Yeah. Don't do that nothing. says it all. Yeah. That yeah. says it all. Yeah. On the seventh yeah. day, Ooh. the God Almighty who <laughs> right. created everything even said, Look, man, I'm about to chill out. Yeah. So let me sit back uh, for a minute. Yeah. No. That's, <laughs> that, that's it. That's if y'all don't get it by now. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. More more of the story more of the story. Get your rest. Get your rest is gonna help yeah. you in every in every other area of your life. Not just your plan, but of your life. Yeah. Literally everything will fall into place. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. We're not just, you know, spitting out, you know, mysteries and stuff to you guys. We this is real life stuff. We, we live in this. We, we're telling you what it takes yeah. to get to where you believe that you want to be. You know, I get, I get, mm -hmm. uh, we all get those. I'm sure we all get those messages. You know, I want to teach me how to do this, or I want to play like you. That we we all get that, right? I'm not saying I'm yeah. trying to be boastful or anything like that. It was just the facts. But at the same time, are you willing to do what we did? Are, are, are you willing? willing are yeah, you willing dude. to do what we do? You know what I mean. So you have to be conscious of you. And it's funny because we have similar stories, different styles, different sounds. Yeah. We all yeah. have our own voice, and that's why I wanted to, uh, you know, different have you guys sounds, come on, different man. Sounds, yeah, different, different, sounds, different, but different at the same sounds. time, we can all emulate each other. <laughs> Absolutely, like it's, <laughs> right. that's the scary part. Right, right. 
Well, I don't, I, 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 well, I don't know if y'all might be able to, but I can't, I can't emulate y'all, man. Oh, stop. But honestly, like you said, uh, like yeah. a lot of people do hit us, but we all came from an era of, I'll take it, I'm about to date myself. Um, I had to actually go to concerts and I actually had a mini disc recorder. And I actually oh, had a tape player. You know I actually all about had a tape that, player that. Come on. I had a tape player that played in the wrong key. Uh oh. <laughs> what was that? Three this cents. Generation. Three cents above. <laughs> Listen, these people now they can actually go on YouTube and have apps to slow down licks. Yeah. I had to learn Chick Corea in time. In real time, yeah, right. you don't, you don't yeah, know right. the struggle of this yeah, stuff. In real time. Yeah. They real time. Talk. So, Struggle like Jared, like Jared <laughs> said, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's flattering. I don't, I don't, I, I would give y'all the shirt off my back if you ask right, me. Right. It's flattering that we get those inboxes, but at the same time, it's almost, almost slightly offensive <laughs> to think that you can just get something that we worked so hard for just for us to tell you Understood. how to do Man. this. Understood. Man, I mean, does get, it make sense, y'all? Am I true? But see, but we're to, 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 to piggyback off of that, I, I give the thing about it is I give a lot of that information away for free mm. because I know 90% of the people are not going to do it. Mm. So you can yeah, ask now me. Now we're going somewhere else. Yeah, somewhere you, you, else can, yeah. you can ask me all you want to, and I'm willing to give it away only because I'm not. I'm secure with my plane where I am. I I'm I, I don't want anybody's gig. That's just not even what I do. I don't, don't even care about yeah, that. Yeah. But I'm like That's right you say that. If you want it, I'll I'll give it. But are you going to do what I You know what I mean? Like I know I know what goes on behind that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Frank 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 give 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 closing remarks, Frank. What you going to say, man? We got closing. <laughs> okay, cool. Closing remarks, man. Listen. <laughs> Everything we talking, man, whoever's listening, whoever's viewing, whatever, what have you, yo, just try to apply it. DB, you just said it. This is, it's like, okay, we get the knowledge, then we got it. Uh, then it's application. We have to apply it. Absolutely. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's even scriptural. You know what I'm saying? It's right. just that. It's like, okay, right. are you just reading it? If you're not, if you're just reading and you're not applying, you're just doing half the job. You know what I'm saying? So. Look, just apply this stuff, man. Just apply it. If it works for us, it will have, will have it. you know, apply. Just put me in a flat. <laughs> 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 you know uh, just apply it. You know what I mean? That's all I was saying. Man. Yeah, yeah. A any anybody? Any any other remarks? Any? <laughs> we got Ooh, anybody the else? The rabbit hole is going deep. Yeah, Justin it's going deep. Smiling. Right. Uh, so it's the, see, that's, that's the crazy the thing, man. We it's so much more to talk about. And for those who listen in, please, please stay tuned, subscribe, whatever you have to do, because this is like we're going in. So we touched on so many things that we could branch off from. And yeah. I, and I'm just over. Like I said, my before for my, my head is about uh, to explode because of how much stuff I'm thinking about <laughs> that we could talk about and, and go and oh, branch off of, this. man. Oh, God. Yeah. 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 And that's the other thing. Part, part right. Part two. <laughs> To I don't even know what I'm gonna name this, but we'll figure it out. Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, we will. I, don't, I don't even know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. But part two to this uh, coming real soon. But yeah, y'all. Uh, as always, man, I appreciate y'all, cats, man. We we this is this is man. like these are my dudes. Like this is not just a one time. Sure. Like okay, we're, we're you know trying to do a first time interview or something like this. Is these are my dudes, man. This is how we talk. The four so, horsemen plus one. Right, right, right. Five horsemen <laughs> right. plus one. <laughs> we got an addition on them. <laughs> honorary horsemen. Yeah, honorary. Honorary horsemen. That's hilarious. Absolutely, absolutely, man. So, no. Wait, this wait, is wait, just... wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's Go ahead. change the title before before we have to ask for permission for that chat, that name. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Right. right. <laughs> That's a whole nother podcast. <laughs> whole nother podcast. <laughs> Everybody. The four horsemen. It was 40 hertz. It was 50 hertz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, nah, but we'll, 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 we'll figure out. We'll figure out something. But, yeah, I'll leave all of y'all guys' information, uh, whatever you want to tell the people, um, what you're doing, how they can reach you. Like I said, I'll put y'all information. Y'all be back on. Don't matter. Either yeah. way, it'll be on the screen somewhere or in the description or something like that. But we got Kenny, K-Base, Frank, Justin, Snoop. All right, we'll see y'all guys next week. Peace. Yes, sir. Yeah.